guys, welcome to a new video. I've been Maidu here, and uh, this is a Furby you've probably never seen on my channel before. And uh, this is not my Furby, and it's not gonna be my Furby. This is a Furby I have over for repairs, and I have to fix... Well, at first, there was a problem where I just had to fix the ears and the eyes not moving, which I know how to fix. But in the shipping, uh, you probably can guess what happened. Because 2005 Furby plastics are really brittle, and this one came with the battery compartment in, and batteries in, so uh, it snapped in the package, even though it was like two days in the package and like two days in the uh, storage place. So, um, can I show you guys what actually happened? Hold on. There's also parts inside which I'm gonna take out when I skin them. But look, there's this big piece that fell off right here, and I can't really screw it in anymore. But I do have the pieces to glue in, so I'll, I'm gonna try to glue those somehow to make this guy work again. But, um, let me close my door. Right now, our goal is to get inside, see how I can fix that thing, see if I can push the battery compartment in to make him work a bit. Just to know if I fix the problem, and uh, then I'm gonna find a way to do something to that battery compartment to see how I can actually make it uh, work again. But now, let's get to skinning, because this will be a kind of a tutorial. i show you guys how to skin them. So, uh, first, uh, you absolutely need triangle screwdrivers. Let me see which one I could use here. I think this one. This one might be good. Oh, here it is. It's a triangle screwdriver, which will be going in to remove the feet. So let's get to it. First of all, let me, hold on, let me put this flower a bit. So you have to unscrew these things on the feet. So let's get to that. Let me see if this is a, no, I think I need a smaller one. Hold on, and I'm going to take a smaller, yeah, triangle screwdriver. There we go. Okay, this one seems to work, and slowly, very carefully, unscrew these, because these are very brittle, and you don't want to break the legs, and I don't know what factory this Furby is from, because it has, um, it doesn't have the tag, and, uh, actually it does have the tag, but it doesn't have the um, original battery compartment, like the battery cover, so I don't know, so I'm gonna carefully, because if this is JT, it's gonna be lower quality. It might be JT because the battery compartment already proved that it's low quality. So I'm gonna take the next one out here. Okay. Righty tighty lefty loosey. Okay. It's been a while since I last took out screws like this, so uh takes me a while to get used to it again. It's also been a while since I last skinned the 2005 Furby. C careful. Because if you hear a big snap, that's not good. Didn't hear any for now, so I think we're cool. I'm gonna very carefully remove the fur along with the foot. Okay. Careful, because this is a brittle part. Let's take it out of there. There we go, here's one foot. Make sure to remember which foot is from where. Now put this one, put him up, this is here. Alright, and the next foot. Okay, careful, careful. Just the fur and the foot. Nothing else. You don't need anything else. Oh, there we go. The fur fell off from the foot. So we're gonna put them together again. Okay. As I said, very careful because this is brittle. I'm just gonna leave the foot here. Okay. Need to make sure we know where this is being held. Where is this being held? This is gonna be a really long video because I'm gonna take my time figuring out what, in, what is wrong in here. Let me, let me see if it's that right there. Might be. There we go. Let me put this on. Remember how it was. Like this. 
two holes are visible. Okay, no, this one is not. Hold on. There we go. Both holes are visible. We leave this here. And now, here's gonna be a harder part. Which, you have to be even more careful because there's gonna be some really big screws. This one, right here. And this one, which you're gonna have to remove. So, I'm gonna take my... screwdriver which is like this just a normal screwdriver you use for Furby battery compartments so um let me gently see if this fits might be a bit small I don't want to use the wrong screwdrivers because again it can be messed up very fast so let me see if this one works yeah this one seems better now we're gonna be super slow removing these. And this is gonna take a long time, but it's gonna get easier and easier as you progress. I promise you, this is worth it. You don't want any broken leg. It's starting to get easier. And that means most of the important part is out. There we go. Cut this out. Slowly put it there. And now time for the next one. You saw how big that screw was, so it will take a while. And especially this first part where you kind of smack, smack it out of place. That's the most... The place you have to be most careful because that's where it snaps. Okay. My screwdriver came out. It's fine. I know you guys can't really see because of my hand, but I'm trying to be very careful here. Is spinning my whole hand along. Being really careful. Hold on. Starting to get a bit easier. we have it all on not yet okay now we take off the feet and remember which is which again make sure you know which is which okay, this and this all right now you can see that you can peel them like a little banana so uh, let's see where is the stitch we have to cut now turn them around and you have to find a stitch like uh, that goes along the back like this, and you're gonna have to cut. I have my scissors ready, so I'm gonna look where the stitch is. Somewhere around here, when I pull. This one has white fur, and the stitch is also white, so it's gonna be a bit harder to spot it. Uh, yeah, this is gonna take a while. I need to know which exactly is the stitch. I think I see it. Yeah, I see it. Hold on. Just snap it a bit. Just pull my scissors up and should be it. Should be it. Or not. Maybe I missed a part. There. There we go. Now there might be another one around here. Or not. We might be lucky. No, it's not another one. It's just a bit harder to pull apart but we're in should be okay the Furby looks okay inside we're gonna see what exactly is falling apart in there cuz I hear the parts alright that was the stitch now you're gonna have to take out some clips so let's look for him they might take a while to take out, and they might be a bit problematic and break. But I'm gonna try to find a toothpick to use. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna try to find a toothpick and see if that works. Okay, 
Okay, I got a toothpick. I'm gonna see if this works to unclip the clip safely. So what if I put it in here and just pull? Oh. Okay. I need to get it behind the clip. Oh, I think it does. It might work. But I'm not sure and I don't want to force it. I'm trying my best not to damage anything here. But these clips are usually easy to take out. But uh, the problem is, is they break. Which is not a huge problem that they break. But I don't really want to glue this one around here. So, But I might just resort to trying my luck and pulling it. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work, so I'm gonna have to resort to pulling it out. Which, as you just saw, isn't hard, but they break. So, um, I try my best not to have to glue stuff, but I'm still probably gonna have to. Alright, another, which this one didn't really break. Okay, another here. Okay. Also remember, the look of the insides of the Furby might vary of which uh, factory it is from and what time it was made. So, um, yeah. It might not be the exact same. might have a little more clips or in different areas. But I'm going with this one, which I don't know what factory it is. Oh, did you pull your beak out? Oh, open it. Open up. There we go. Okay. Now, there should be two in the front. No, just one. Pull it out. Do my best not to break stuff. Oh, no, there's another one, I think. Yeah, here. I'm gonna do it off camera and I'm gonna show you where the clips were. Just so it's easier for me and quicker. There we go, another. Which didn't break, surprisingly. And one near, to, near the speaker, which I have to be careful with. Okay, hold on. Okay, got it. Now, so there is these two clips, one here, one here, another one in the front next to the speaker right here, and two here, and one in the back I think, yeah one in the back. Now you're just gonna pull it inside out, pull the fur inside, inside out, and you might actually get to see what's rattling in here, because you can hear that there is something rattling. Okay, getting in there. Just basically pull him inside out. That's what we're doing here. And until we get to the face, because the face is going to have some stuff stuck to it. And it seems to be the one with the... Oh, there is some plastic. Some plastic pieces filling out. Okay. Yeah, this... Yeah, let me try to sh shake this up. Okay, where is all that debris? Hopefully it's nothing near the e uh, eye mechanism. Because that might be part of the problem. Which I wouldn't like. But now let's get to... The ears. Oh no, the ears. Oh, we're gonna have to bend those. And I have to bend the heck out of them. Oh, is there another piece? Is there another piece coming out? No, it isn't. I'm gonna have to look more into this. I'm gonna take it off camera, but I'm actually what I'm doing is just peeling this inside out until I get to the ear. And at the ear, I'm gonna try to get to the bottom of it and rip a little seam. But first, actually, it might be a smarter move to just try to get to the face area. So I'm gonna. Basically, you just pull on these little thingies. And be careful with the speaker. Oh, hold on. Be really careful with the speaker. You don't want to touch that too much. Because it's really brittle again. And you don't want damage to that. Also, don't try to squeeze the Furby too bad in your arms. While you're pulling on stuff. That's also not great. I'm not saying it will break, but I'm saying it may break. So, I'm just making sure of all the possibilities you know of here. I never understood how people managed to pull these out. I used to just cut them, but I don't want to do cuts on this one much, unless I really have to. 
I mean, I can still hot glue the face, but I don't want to resort to that. I'm just gonna pull everything inside out just to be sure I have everything visible. Now he's just a banana, pill banana. I don't really know how to hold this so you guys can see, so I think I'm just gonna get back here and try my best to open it up. But I'm just pulling on those face little things on the sides, they're like clips. Which are really hard to remove, in my opinion. Just a personal opinion, maybe you're strong, maybe you're not like me, weak. Maybe you're not a weakling like me, but I am. I'm gonna have to struggle with this. Oh man. I might just resort to a cut. I don't want to stay all day on this. So yeah, I think we're gonna go with the cut. Alright, we're cutting it. Fine. Whatever right here. Snip snap. Maybe you can pull it with the scissors out? I don't know. I just really don't want to cut it, because it's not mine, so... But I might have to. Nah. Yeah, I had to cut it. Oh well, no, time for the next one, right here. Oh, this one just came out. Okay. Well, that was useless. Anyways, we're starting to see the Furby. Now we're gonna have some, uh, some, uh, screws around the nose, from what I remember. There should be some. I don't know how to access them, though. Or is it just a, a this, does this one just have a clip? It might just have a clip. And, uh, oh. It's literally falling apart. Wow. And are these even more clips? Of course they are. What would we do without clips in this world? We just love them. We use them every day. So useful. I'm trying my best here. But this isn't coming out. I don't want to force this Furby too much because it's, again, it's uh, not the best generation of Furby to hurt. I'm trying my best here, but I think I might have to do another incision. I'm just gonna go with that because sadly this is not coming out. Okay, I cut it out. Now we're left with this, which we're gonna have to reach at the top because there is this little forehead thingy that's uh, you're gonna have to cut some uh, some string. Or actually, no, this one has elastics. Might just have to pull these elastics out. Okay, this one just has elastics. Good. We just now have to pull those out. Okay. And now we're left with this, which means we have to go all the way up to the ears. And they should have like either a clip or some sort of uh, string holding them on. Is this a clip? Yeah, this looks like a clip. And that's terrible. That is absolutely terrible. I hate clips. I hate Furby clips. They're so horrible. This is like a hook thing, which you will have to pull out. I mean, not pull out, but more like, I don't know, take out? The, the actual mohawk didn't seem to be glued at all. It's just the ears, which I'm going to have to go through here somehow. Oh, I hate these. I really do. I really do hate these. I might just have to do a very, very, very delicate incision here. By pushing on that. And pulling on this. I'm trying my best not to have to do anything very, very noticeable here. Alright. 
I'm really taking my time, by the way, because I don't want to hurt this Furby. I actually really like him already. I don't want to have to do this, but I guess you leave me no choice but to mull this out. Again, I don't want to do this, but I'm going to have to, I guess. Again, I'm taking my time. My precious time, because I don't want to break stuff. Because these bins have been built very brittle. And you have to be so careful to not destroy your whole family. Which is pointless. I may just cut a, a part a part of this clip. Oh, he's stinging me with his eyebrows. Eyelashes, whatever. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it here and I'm gonna try something. I'm sorry you can see, but I'm trying hard here. I think I did it. Yep, I did it. I freed one of the ears, the magical ears. Now it's time for the next one. Oh boy. And it's just the same as the old one. I have to cut it. Again, I hate cutting stuff, but I'm, there's literally no other choice on this thing. The way this one was assembled. You just have to cut things. Okay. This, guys, was how to skin a 2005 Furby. I think you guys got it, what you have to do. But if you have questions, feel free to ask him in the comments. This is them taking apart, and this is the fur. The fur is actually much bigger than the Furby itself, so... It's also really heavy, like a bit heavy, so... Most of the heaviness is not from the Furby, but from the actual thing. Now, I'm gonna give you guys a bit of a bonus. I'm gonna turn this guy around and take, like, uh, take out the back shell, because I want to see what exactly fell out around there. Okay, I might need a smaller, yeah, there we go, a smaller screwdriver. And I'm gonna very gently take the screws out because they're rusty. Who doesn't like some rusty screws? Just carefully, carefully take them out. Oh, and also, the thing I tried to take out here was actually the sink screw. That's the sink screw. Don't unscrew that, please. Don't unscrew that. Okay. I think you guys got it. Okay. I, I need to see the screws. So I'm just gonna take them in my arms here and actually unscrew this next one. You need a bunch of light while doing this. Please do this in a very well lit environment. Don't follow my rules. I am doing this in a very poorly lit em environment. And this is a po horrible idea for me. Uh, always when you're working on Furbies, make sure you have a bunch of light. Okay, please don't tell me you have a stri stripped screw. We might not. We might. I'm just gonna take the big one again. Because this one doesn't seem to be doing its job. It is pretty small, so... No, these aren't coming out. It might just be my screwdriver, though, because I, I think they look good. Where were the other ones? The other type. I had two types of these screw these screwdrivers, but I only see one now and I'm wondering where the other type went. Might be this one? I have no idea, dude. I am so blind. Oh, I think I'm just not picking up on it. Oh, okay, hold on. I'm just gonna turn on the flash a bit and look at the actual so, this screw is looking okay, this one is also looking okay, bunch of chips in there, what were the other ones, this one looks okay, and this one looks okay, 
So why isn't it coming out? Is the big question. So the lower ones work. Maybe I'm just not at the right angle. Maybe it's just the angle. Hopefully. I'm gonna try different angles then. Oh, and also, when you're doing this, please have something to hold your screws and do it in something that is able to separate which screws are which. I do not have that, and I'm a terrible example, so please do not follow my example. I am terrible. Anyways, I rely on my fish memory. No, these, these screws just don't want to screw. Hmm, I'm gonna try different screwdrivers. But I have no idea where they went. Maybe this one will be better? I don't know. I don't trust this one. I never trusted this one, but I'm gonna... I'm gonna resort to desperate methods. It might just be my screwdriver, because, you know... I'm terrible at doing most things in this universe. I'm gonna have to look for another screwdriver and see if that one works. Okay, how about this one, big guy? Do you like this one? Oh yeah, this one works. Okay, it was the screwdriver. That's good to know. We're actually gonna go in and see what the heck is the problem in this. Hopefully this isn't the type where the... Oh. Where did the screw go? Where, where did this... The screw just te teleported. Uh, guys, the screw just teleported. Oh, there it is. There it is. I don't know how it got there, but okay. I didn't even see it go. See, this is why I'm terrible with electronics. Please do not try this at home. I am terrible. Follow any of my uh, my examples that you see here. I am um, a very bad example. Just follow the steps, not what I'm doing. <laughs> Maybe try not cutting stuff. Oh, there we go. Now the moment of truth. Let's see what is wrong here. Okay, there's some more pieces. What exactly broke here? What broke? There's more things rattling, but I don't know what it, what they are. Because I hear them. It might just not be anything, and I'm just being weird. Okay, is that on track? That looks to be on track. I don't know what the problem is. But it seems to be on track. Hmm. And that is on track. So now let's look at the legs. The legs seem on track too. I'm gonna try rolling the gear. Yeah, the legs look fine too. Like, I don't really know what the issue is here. Yeah, the gears seem okay. So I'm just going to put the back plate back on and hope that, hope that everything is working fine. I 100% know what I am doing. I am a trained professional. Definitely trained. 100%. Anyways, let me put this back and I'm just gonna end the video now because there's nothing else to do. I showed you how to scan this stuff. This is my floor, which uh, is looking awesome. So yeah, this is how you, you skin your Furby. Now I'm gonna go find a way to make him work. Goodbye.